What's up guys, in this video I'll be talking about Jelly Lock 7. It's an old tweak that was updated for iOS 7. It pretty much redefines the way you use your lock screen, like so. Instead of just having a slide to unlock, you get the Jelly Lock interface that you find in Android. So what it does is pretty much gives you like a little circle and you pretty much select whatever app you want. You can have shortcuts, I believe it's up to 5. Normally we have the camera on the left side, but I've replaced it. And then on the right side you get your unlock. So. If you're interested in getting this tweak, all you gotta do is go into Cydia, go to search, and you wanna type in Jelly Log 7, all in one word, like so. So you're gonna get a long description, as well as a few screenshots, but once you have it downloaded and installed, you can go into settings, go all the way down to you see Jelly Log 7. From here, you get your enable option, your respring option, your app shortcuts, the behavior, disable default, unlock, hide camera icon, appearance, and then the contact information. So if we were to go to app shortcuts, from here we get to select our shortcuts. So the first one being the farthest to the left will be whatever you selected. So in this instance, I selected Safari. And Safari was located right over here. So Let's go back to settings and you can pretty much have up to five technically six you can replace your camera with any other app from here you get the skip passcode so in case you do have a passcode you can enable it and then the backlist which obviously lets you disable that feature for certain apps so if we go to the bottom you get to disable default unlock high camera icon and if you were to select appearance you can select for it shows badges, blur background, so let's just turn that off, and then much, much more. So let's just change it to blue. Alright. So once you made your added adjustments, you would have to go back to the top and then tap on respring. Once you do respring, obviously it's going to respring your iDevice and then all the changes should take effect. And then when you respring, your changes should obviously take effect. So you can see here I changed my opacity to 50% and it looks much smaller. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please click the like button. If you have more questions, post a comment. And if you want to see more videos like these, please subscribe. Thanks.